Hello and welcome to Avorian Build Guide. A very brief and overview for beginners, uh, for people that are looking for more of an advanced uh, look into building. Uh, this will not be the guide for you, this will be more so for people that are coming into the game. So um, I have built a a little vessel, I suppose, a little, little ship. Um, to try and demonstrate some of the things that might help you in the future. Now, when you first start off, you're going to be putting around on something that's similar to this. <laughs> However, um, I thought I'd go over some tricks that um, weren't very obvious to me when I first started building. So, when when you start building your ship, um, you will be it will be just a little ship like this, and if you push B. It push you into build mode. A good thing is there is what you call a neutral editor which cuts out the backlight um, when you're concentrating on building which is quite helpful. Uh, another thing is to have on is have a mirror if you decide that you will not you want you want things to match up on the other side or you're trying to make a ship match it's quite good to have a mirror on so that you can um, keep everything in symmetry. Another good thing is uh, this thing called match block. So if we were to stick this on right now it will s match the block that it's underneath, the, the, di the diameter of those blocks. So if we were to have a look and we wanted to match something up perfectly we could do so with match block. And if you push down your mouse, mouse uh, middle mouse button and then hot and then push delete it will delete those blocks see if we were to take match block off it would you would have to try and manually do this and that would take time if you're doing something simple if you were to put match block on though bang straight away it will match the block on top and you can put down blocks pretty quickly uh, this is also helpful for edging so another question you may have is um, oh well I want to put edging down it's not letting me do it look it's sort of just sitting there so how do you rotate blocks well you hold R and then you click whatever way you want to rotate these blocks and that will allow you to rotate the blocks in the direction that you want by having a uh, match block up you will have you it will match the block up perfectly and allow for quick building of anything that you desire. Another trick also um, that I find quite useful is say we're wanting to put something on the outside of these wings we can uh, go to block middle this will centre the block around the middle of the of the ends, right? So this will centre. Make sure you have match block off, block middle, like I had before. I'll match it up like that. Match block, and it will work off the centre of um, of the end of whatever end block you're working on it will just work off that middle block and it'll just expand from that middle block another thing that you want to uh, know is uh, let's say I'm building on something and it's not letting me uh, view it properly and I'm working down here and you're like oh how do I get to see what's going on down here I'm trying to build something here why won't it let me why won't it let me uh, you know you're trying to line something up down here you're having a bit of difficulty see it's not lining up you know you're trying to look you're trying to figure out how to get there so how do you change your view changing your view is quite simple select the block you want to view say I want to view this block push F for um, the change your field, uh, view and it will automatically zoom in for you to um, to that block so now when you go to put something on there it will 
it will focus on that block. So now you can look at that block and it will focus on that block. Same if I was to click over here. So click your middle mouse button down if you like. Or use select block. So you want to select that block over there. Press F and you're viewing it. Select the block over here and F to view it. You want to select the block over here. F to view that block and that's the block you want to be working on and that's how you get around uh, viewing your ship so um, uh, view changing your view is quite helpful remember if to view yeah, select the block and then view it and it will automatically focus in on that point now another thing is to remember when shipbuilding, there are other tricks to this as well. Um, if you want to bring up your colours, um, hold down C as a shortcut, and you can select any colour you like and to, to be able to paint your ship. So that's a quick way of um, bringing up your colour palette, um, is uh, holding down C and in the game you collect colours so if you don't have the colour range that you see on this video don't be stressed because when you begin the game as you fight um, um, other factions or um, having space battles <laughs> you they drop colours so that's part of the game so um, yeah so C is a shortcut for colours to get your colour that you want um, Another trick too that I find quite helpful and this is uh, very helpful for me I believe um, in the game is to modify the ship. Now I don't use this a whole lot but what this does is if you wanted to increase the scale of the ship of course you will pay for it but if you want to increase the scale of the ship and apply it you've just made your ship, whole ship much bigger without actually having to do anything. Another way also is if you've decided that you've gone up and decided that I've got some Naonite, another material and I want to keep my ship still, you can modify your whole ship to Naonite. So you will have a Naonite ship all the important parts. Another good thing we will modify this whole ship again. So another thing is to if you wanted to modify your ship so this is your modify entire ship hide Pacific blocks now this is, a, this is a thing that I, don't, I haven't seen a video on, so I thought I'd share. So let's say you wanted to upgrade your engines and you got engines in here somewhere and you're not sure where the ge engine generator is or the, the power generator is, sorry. What you can do is if you know you've got um, the engine blocks, you want to, the block that you want to know, you know the, you know the material it's in, and you want to look at the uh, generator. Now there's the generator, and let's say you've come across a better material. Like you've got a nanite generator, right? So now you've got a nanite generator. And you want to upgrade those blocks. What we want to do, we want to transform blocks. So we will transform these into a nanite generator and now they've disappeared because they're no longer uh, uh, titanium so now if we were to go back into here into nanite there's your generators so you have upgraded your ship without having to remove any blocks whatsoever and this is a very handy trick to um, know uh, when it comes to shipbuilding is that instead of pulling ships apart you, or compartments or anything like that you have effectively 
you have effectively uh, upgraded the ship without even having to touch anything so you've not had to pull any of this apart and I wish you the best of luck um, with shipbuilding